happens when we hear something, and I'm sure all of you have been in a situation like this where something very unexpected and very challenging comes into your life, the first thing that happens is you go through denial. You think, this can't be happening, or this is happening, but it's, it's got to be much smaller than I think it is, whatever that is. But as you start to come out of denial, and you begin to grasp the reality of what is taking shape, you go through the phase of deliberation. Okay, so I've, I've denied it, but now I'm beginning to accept what's happening. Now, what do I do about it? How do I deal with this new reality? So, I'm sure if you've ever worked in an office building, you've been in a situation where the fire alarm went off, and you're in the middle of doing something. Maybe it's really important, like you're watching kittens on YouTube, yawning, and you don't want to get up from your desk. So, you're sitting at your desk, and the fire alarm goes off, and you think, maybe it will go off in a minute. This can't really be a fire. This has got to be a drill. And it just keeps going and going and going. So, okay, so now you've pushed out of denial and you said, all right, so what am I actually, am I going to am I going to walk down all those stairs? I don't, well, my colleagues aren't leaving. Now you're in the deliberation phase. You're deliberating. What are you going to do? And finally you hit the decisive moment. And this is where you decide what you're going to do and you take action. So what the academic research shows us on survivors is that survivors are people who push right through denial, right through deliberation, and just do something. The survivors are the people who, when the fire alarm goes off, they get up from their desks and they calmly and they safely walk to the stairs and start going down the stairs. So an example that I think is particularly poignant for a lot of people is that in 9-11, there's a beautiful study from the 9-11 Survivors Network that shows that the people who got out of the building alive are the people who hit the decisive moment within six minutes of the impact of the first plane. So these are the people who, when that plane hit, they got up from their desks and they walked to the elevator or, or the stairwell. And I was, within six minutes of that, I was still home in denial thinking, this can't really be happening, this, is, this can't be as big as it seems. The people who survived were the people who left the building immediately. And um, a great example comes from Morgan Stanley, which is a company that took its personal, its safety protocols for its people very, very seriously. So if you had a meeting at Morgan Stanley and you came into that floor, you couldn't even go to your meeting as a visitor until you got a quick drill on where all the exits were and how to evacuate the building. And as a result, Morgan Stanley lost 13 people that day. They saved 2,678 people. That's a lot of people to get down a very long set of stairs. So this is why planning is important. If Morgan Stanley takes it that seriously and they put this much of an investment in time and energy and people into making their plan solid, you need to do that for yourself too.